Okay, so we're going to do a little exercise, uh, and I call it um, Feel the Feelings. And uh, basically, <clears throat> what is Feel the Feelings? Well, it's, it's not really Feel the Feelings, but I, I, it's a technique which I've derived from Dr. Hawkins. And it's the thing of just sitting and allowing what is to be without any uh, letting go of any kind of ego labeling, any kind of labeling from the mind of what is being experienced now. So what does that mean? So do, like, I'll, to give some examples, like, and some of you are, won't need to do this because you're already in, 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 um, in the pure, pure witnessing state, so you won't need to do it. But if there's any kind of um, identification with thoughts, if there's any kind of sensation or awareness of limitation, in the now. What, what do I mean? Is there any experience of the body right now? Uh, like, the, you know, how... If there's experience of the body, then there's an experience of a limit right now, yes? If there's an experience of a feeling or sensation in the body, like, for example, if there was fear in the stomach, or a headache, or tension around the eyes, or a feeling of some kind of repressed emotion, then that, that's an experience of something that is limited. Now, for people who are, who are less advanced spiritual seekers, there is a natural thing that the ego does, which is to try and repress experience. You know, you can mentally... What, is that, what do I mean by that? It's like the ego, a uh, less seasoned uh, spiritual seeker, is trying not to feel whatever is here now. So it's like mentally trying to... If, if there was like tension in the stomach, it's trying to like push it down and pretend it's not there. Mm -hmm. Or it's trying to like stuff something down somewhere and saying, oh, you haven't got any problems, you feel fine right now. But, uh, so it's like letting go of all ego identification and also if there is something that's hidden, like maybe you're not aware that there's some tension in the shoulders or in the stomach, it's like let that come out. Let that come out and the second part of it is don't allow any ego identification don't allow labelling of experience. What does that mean? It means like, let's say you're just allowing whatever it is to be, and you're just allowing things to come up if they're already repressed. It means like, as soon as, as, soon as there's identification with a thought, just let that identification with that thought go and just be with what is now, without the need for your mind to be making a story or an edit about it. So how, how does this work? If you're new to it, it's like you're just being, just allowing everything to be experienced, and then, some, you know, thought will emerge in consciousness, and then start to make up a story like you haven't done your shopping. As soon as that, as soon as that comes, you're not just allowing what is. You're in the thought of I haven't done my shopping. So you just, on the next time, you just try and catch the thought as quickly as it emerges and let it go, and just be with what is, and you just keep doing that. So you're just allowing everything. When you allow things just to be without labeling it or allowing the ego to identify with it or make a story about it and you're not repressing then any kind of vibrations or energetic sensations that are here will start to dissolve because they're just being allowed you see they just come up and they just dissolve away and the ego's not making a story about it and there's no repression so they just by allowing the isness of what is here without labeling from the mind these these things start to evaporate away so, I think that was an explanation that's reasonably clear. So what we're going to do now, just kind of make it like a practical, fun thing, is that we're going to do five minutes, I know it's not long, but we'll do five minutes and then get some, uh, some feedback on that. So we'll start that now.